Hello, this is Jonathan, text device. And I'm going to show you how to boot your Tutter jailbreak iPhone 4 running on iOS 7.1. And see here, my iPhone is on 7.1 and it is a Tutter jailbreak. And Cydia does work. To do so, you will need this link called Ginksnow version 2.8.2. And as you see here, everything is working well. So I'm going to shut it off and show you how to boot it. So I boot my power button is broken. Kind of. So, if your phone will accident die or you turn it off and it is jailbreak, you will get the recovery mode. Something like this. To, to fix this, you need to plug in your device into your laptop or desktop. Once that in, click on King Snow. It will want you to put your iPhone device into DFU mode. To do so, hold the power button and the hold button for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, let go of the power button but can hold the home button. That's a fail. You should have a blink screen like this. Once you're done, you will want to click on the career on your iPhone. As you see here, it's a boot tutter. There's an iPhone 4 GSM iPhone 4 or EVA and the iPhone 4 CDMA. Those are the three career T Mobile, ATT, and Verizon. My iPhone is Verizon, so I'm going to click on CDMA. And the phone should begin to boot. So you just want to click on the career you have and your iPhone should show Apple logo this maybe takes some several minutes to boot itself Something like this will pop out. And I see here, Ginks now is doing nothing, but it's booting it because you click on the career you have. Once it's done, you, you are able to get into your iPhone.
And this is how you boot your iPhone. Jailbreak on Tether. I mean, Jailbreak Tether. Running, running on iOS 7.1. And see how it work. So, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you for what you're looking for. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And sometimes this may be happening to you. It is rebooting itself. I mean, respringing itself. But not, not a big deal. See, they still work. Thank you for watching.